Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. This is Maddie and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into all of the ear stretching fun, first make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it, comment whatever you want to comment, and subscribe for more great content, clearly. And um, also turn on the bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but you know, I probably don't even remember that. So, you know, you should totally do that. And also make sure to follow my two Instagrams. Um, Modified Makeup by Mad is where I post all my makeup looks. But also I have my personal one, which is just Madeline McBride underscore. Um, I post literally just all my personal stuff on there. Pretty much everything but makeup. And my phone is going off, so let me mute that. Stop bothering me. I am recording. Thank you. As you could probably tell from the title, <sighs> sorry, I'm having problems. I am stretching my ears from a double zero gauge 9mm to a double zero 10mm. So the 10mm that I'm going to now is what everyone thinks about when they think of a double zero, and this one I'm at is an in-between size. I stretched my ears off camera when I went to the 9mm because um, I was at an 8mm zero gauge and uh, they kept falling out. I was going to bed one night and it was just like like slipping out and it was annoying so I just put it in and I felt bad because I was like damn like I'm really like letting all my people not see this then I came to the conclusion that it probably would have been very like not fun to watch because it's just me going all right done but I am gonna record this one because I'm not too sure how it's gonna go for any people who are wondering I am dead stretching I just wear glass plugs that have some weight to them this is weight, apparently. Uh, ever since I did that last stretch off camera, like, my ears have been just, like, not bothering me at all. I was having a lot of trouble sleeping. If I slept weird, they would get weird. Now, like, they just don't bother me. The worst it'll get is, like, when I answer the phone, it, like, smashes against, like, the back of my neck. Other than that, like, there's no pain. They feel fine. I do, like, after I stretch, I let them sit for, like, three days. But then after that, every day after my shower, I take them out, clean them, put more oil on my ears to just make sure, like, they're nice and hydrated, I guess. They've been pretty easy going, and I'm pretty sure my stretching videos are soon just going to be me talking videos. Yeah, that's kind of what I plan on doing. So what I'm actually going to do is just tell you guys what I do and then do it while I just talk about stuff. I got these glass plugs from Body Art Forms. So I'm going from a 9mm, 10mm. I do have tapers in here to go to a 10mm zero gauge. Um, the tapers I got from Amazon, they're just stainless steel, but I do have glass plugs, like I said, from Body Art Forms that I'm probably just gonna use. And then I use vitamin E oil to stretch. I almost hit myself in the eye with this. Um, I just got this from Walgreens. Um, I have antibacterial soap just to make sure I get all like the dead skin build up out there because it's kind of gross. Um, I have q-tips because I have long nails so I don't want to get all kinds of like ish under my nails but now I'm just gonna put my hair back get it all out of the way because I keep having a problem that sometimes when I'm like cleaning my plugs uh, pieces of hair will get in it and it just feels very fucking odd is the best way to put it. I don't want to deal with that. Um, there's my forehead. Hope you guys all like it very cute. So what I do is I go one ear at a time, like by that I mean I don't take both plugs out at the same time because I feel like my ears shrink down quickly and it can make the other ear more painful. So I usually start with my right ear because this is my worst ear, which I think it's kind of slowly been switching, like this has become my worst ear, but I don't know. It's tradition, so we're just going to start with my right ear um, and then go to my left ear. What I first do is take them out, clean it with antibacterial soap, dry it, put oil on with a q-tip, row that next plug in. Um, I know a lot of people are like, why aren't you taping? And to be completely honest with you guys, um, my nails, like, I have PTFE tape right back there, but I swear to God when I say, like, it won't, like, my nails just won't work. So, I just wait a little longer than what most people would wait and I also am doing in between sizes so I don't fuck up my ears but like I said they've been very chill like not giving me any problems but since I couldn't show you guys because I didn't make a video this is my ear at a nine millimeter zero gauge I think this is the size that you can finally tell that my ears are stretched you know what I mean like all the other sizes they could have passed as like earrings but I mean we're definitely getting up there now so this doesn't seem like a big jump like I said it's only one millimeter and now that my ears are getting bigger 
like it's it's nothing I don't know last stretch I just kind of threw it in this is what the here I'll see if I can focus it that is the 10 millimeter <sighs> I just need to go on some tangents right now. The weather is now getting cold. A lot of you guys may not know this, or you might know, I don't know, but my room's in a basement. Um, if you are also a basement dweller like me, there is mad fucking spiders, dude. And within the past fucking two or three days, I've had some big ass roommates come in here and it's fucking like I have really bad arachnophobia dude like really bad and it's not like little spiders like I'm not a bitch dude like it's the fucking ones you can put a leash on and they've been coming to hang I'm not gonna lie and a little life hack for anyone who's also a basement dweller fucking they hate peppermint oil and I have a oil diffuser in my room but if you want to be really fucking insane and if anyone who like is a spider lover they're gonna like probably get really upset that I say this but you literally can just put a, a drop of oil on them and it will get them to go away but then they'll call their homies and say oh like um I just got ran up on like come help me uh this whole tangent is for me to say I have my fucking oil diffuser running with peppermint oil and it smells like goddamn orbit gum in here okay sorry I just it took me a while there's my ear at a um 10 millimeter double zero that's it it went right in but I did that shit that I do where I put too much oil on and my fingers are slipping around everywhere but yeah it looks cute we love it we love her she's great something else like more quarantine stories by mad fucking uploading YouTube videos and none of y'all told me just takes all your Wi-Fi like all of it and I didn't know that and I live in a family of six I have two older siblings one younger sibling and we all live in a house together and also two parents and it just is not happening bro like anytime I upload a video it takes up literally all the bandwidth so my family's been kind of wanting to kill me lately because I whenever I upload they're like hey like I literally cannot <laughs> use anything yeah just so you guys know I'm doing that just for you so I really should be appreciated. Who gives a shit anymore, right? I'm losing it. Where's the Q-tips? O-rings are the bane of my existence. O-ring, more like a waste of my fucking time ring. Fucking, fucking, fucking. I'm like, why would I ever get demonetized? <laughs> By the way, I'm so happy I'm doing the in-between sizes. I'm just gonna say this to anyone planning to stretch their ears. Literally do not try to do a zero gauge to a double zero, like the 10 millimeter one, because that just sounds fucking not good. I literally can't even imagine trying to do that. Just don't. Just take my advice and literally don't. There's my little stinky ears, both at a, what most people will know as a double zero gauge. There it is little baby double zero and what's next i think we're done with the gauge sizes so the next size is seven sixteenths of an inch i highly recommend a gauge card from body art forms because it just lets you know what you need to know so that is a 11 millimeter so it's just going to be another millimeter jump. The gauge card is just super helpful because it literally tells you all the millimeters. Like it has a little measuring thing on this side for inches, millimeters on this side. They give one to you, I think, every time you order from their website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next Thursday with a new one. All right. Bye, guys.